hey everybody and welcome back to Kiki's Kitchen. So um, today we're getting ready for Cinco de Mayo, which is tomorrow. So I know these are getting to you late, but you know, we have Mexican here about once, at least probably once every 10 days. So whether you have it tomorrow or over the next few days, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy guacamole. Now there are a couple of great ways to make guacamole. Mine is simple, simple is great. Um, I am going to take, actually before I do that, I want to show you something. So here's a beautiful avocado that I got at my Spanish grocery store. I'm so excited that I discovered this place because it has got some awesome things in it for sure. But um, you see on the avocado, the stem or the button, if you pull the button, it will tell you the color of the inside, which is absolutely perfect. So you want it to have a little bit of give, but not be mushy. And take a sharp knife. There's a seed in the middle. Be careful and cut it in half. Kind of do a little twist. And that is a perfect avocado. So to get it out, I usually hit it with my knife, twist it, and out it comes. Uh, to get it out of the, the uh, skin, I guess that's the word I want to use, right? Peeling something. Um, what I do is, now if I'm going to chunk it, I just take my knife and I go down to the skin this way and then I come back this way. And see how it's scored like that? Then just take your spoon, run it right along the edge, and it will come out in nice chunks, which are just perfect chunks for, I'm telling you, my, my friend Denise and I, we eat avocados like they're going out of style. My sister and I do, my husband doesn't like them so much. So they come out in perfect chunks, perfect for going on top of your tacos or whatever. Um, this other side, I'm not going to do that way because I'm going to just mash this up anyway. Avocados have a very rich flavor. At the same time, they have no flavor, if that makes any sense at all. Um, which it doesn't. I get that. Um, but the smoothness and the silkiness on their, your tongue, here we go, um, <clears throat> is what an avocado is about is all about and what you want to do is take your fork and just mash it <clears throat> now and you can mash it and leave or leave it as chunky as you like but you know you want to mash it up somewhat but you can certainly leave big chunks in there if you like chunky avocado or chunky guacamole in mine either way I think is delicious so I have a lemon here and I like the zest in of a lemon or a lime and when you zest you only want to go down just one little scrape of it down to the white you don't want to go any farther than the white because the white is bitter so just one little scrape of it across your zester or, or thin grater, if you have a grater, you don't have to have a tool specifically. But the zest of a lemon or a lime um, has so much oil in it and there's so much flavor in that. So I'm gonna add that in here. And this is a nice juicy one too, I can feel. I'm gonna cut that open get my lemon squeezer and this is an awesome one my sister gave it to me for christmas and i love it 
I want to do this first because, um, first off, you want to have acidity of either um, a lime or a lemon because it will turn. Now, it's going to turn on you <laughs> no matter what. You need to make fresh guacamole pretty fresh. It's hard to keep it. It really is hard to keep it. If you do, when you put it in your bowl, put your wrap, like saran wrap or press it right down, lay it right down on top of it. You want you don't want any air to get to it if it's at all possible. I'm putting in a little tiny bit of salt because that that um, lemon will give it some pepper power. Uh, so I've got a little bit of coarse brown pepper, uh, black pepper. I've got a little bit of cumin here, just for a little south of the border. And last but never least is some granulated garlic or fresh garlic if you have it. Either way. Just a little hint in the background. And that, my friends, is all there is to fresh guacamole. Now, you can add tomatoes to it, absolutely. I do like um, chunk tomatoes in mine too, but we're just going simple today. Mostly because my husband doesn't like guacamole. And interestingly enough, for him, it's not really so much of a taste thing as it is a texture thing. He doesn't, it's, uh, I don't know, it's too buttery for him or something. What is exactly what you don't like about it, Robin? It's like there's a film on my tongue. It's too buttery for him. He doesn't like it. So, can you taste it? Mm. I'm going to tell you that it's just outstanding. Mm. And that's the truth. So, I also do this. I put it on my English muffins in the morning for avocado toast or avocado muffins. It's wonderful. Other thing I wanted to tell you for your little Cinco de Mayo table is I went to Home Depot today and I got this planter. Isn't that a cute little bucket? So I'm going to wash it, of course. And then I'm going to fill that with um, not the cementer in the oven. I'm going to fill that with chips, but I'm going to lay it on its side into this platter so that, and I, and I will stabilize it so that that's what it looks like. And all the chips, or all, probably like this, with all the chips on the platter, with a big thing of dip in the middle, and then all the chips in here. And that's how it will be displayed on my table. Cute, very cute. Great idea. Truly, you can get inspiration anywhere. And then, of course, I went today and got more lasagna because I love that store. So, I have a little bit of this as my snack. Mm. It's wonderful. Truly wonderful. So, get on it. You need to make some guacamole. I'll see you soon. Bye.